In this demonstration, we're going to look at requesting and signing a certificate to a client access server. This will allow SSL communication between our Outlook, our Outlook web app, and our Outlook Anywhere, as well as mobile device clients to our Exchange organization. So the first thing we need to do is actually request the certificate. So in order to do that, I'll come into the Exchange Admin Center. I'm going to come down to the Servers button. On Servers, I'm then going to go for Certificates. Then what I'm going to do on my little drop down here is I'm just going to select LongCAS1, which is my client access server. And then what we're going to do now is we're actually going to just request a new certificate. So we'll click on the little plus here. Then what we're going to do is create a client request for our certificate. So we'll select next. And then we need to enter a friendly name for this certificate. So I'm going to go with mail.datum.com and select next. I'm not going to bother with wildcard certificates, so I'll select next. And then what we'll do here is we need to store the certificate request on a server. So what we'll do here is we'll just browse through. And we'll actually store that on LongCAS1 and select OK. And then select next. And then what we need to do is we just need to specify the domains next to the access here. So what I'm going to do here is just go for Outlook Web App when accessed from the internet. Click my edit button. And I'm just going to enter in mail.datum.com. And then select OK. Now I need to do exactly the same thing with all of the other not specified. Right, so we've entered the domains for all of these not specified. So the next thing to do is select Next. Just have a read down here, make sure we do have everything specified that we want specified, which I certainly do. So we'll select Next again. And now all I need to do is fill out my specific information regarding my organization. Right, so that's my information filled out. So I'm A.Datum, IT, Seattle, WA, and United States. So we'll select Next. Now we need to just specify where we're going to save the requested certificate. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to save it on LongCAS1, C dollars, the C drive, Windows, temp, certrec.rec, and we'll just select finish. That'll now save off that request file. The next thing we need to do now is take that file and take the information out of that file and submit it to our certification authority. Right, so to do that, we'll just come into Windows Explorer. Within Windows Explorer, we'll go to C colon, Windows, and Temp, where I stored the file. And then within there, all we need to do is we just need to open up the request file, and we'll open that up with Notepad. Then what we'll do is we'll just take the information, copy it, and the next thing we need to do is just paste it into the wizard. So all we need to do is open up Internet Explorer, and all we're going to do here is just connect through to our Active Directory domain controller, which happens to be our certification authority. And so we've typed in the URL, which is londc1.datum.com forward slash search serve. Next thing to do here is just log in as administrator. And stick in our password. And once we access the website, we then just need to request our certificate. Right, so here we'll go, we'll request a certificate. We'll go for an advanced certificate request. We're going to submit a certificate request by using base64 encoded. And then all we'll do here is just paste in that request, specify a web server, and then specify submit. And next thing to do is just download our certificate. And then all we'll do here is we'll just save this as. And what we'll do here is we'll just save it into our downloads folder as cert new.cer. So we'll save that off. Then what we'll do is we'll just open this folder up. And what we want to do now is just copy this onto our client access server so we can finish off the certificate request. So all I'll do here is I'll just copy it. Go to my C drive, create a new folder. I'm just going to create a folder called cert. And then I'll just paste the certificate into that folder. And then just so the wizard can actually work through this, I'm just going to share that out. We'll share it with specific people, and all I'm going to do here is just share it with everyone. And I'll just make that read right. And we'll share that off. Right, now we've done that, the next thing we can do is continue on through our certification request. So to do that, I'll just come back to my Exchange Admin Center. So what I've done here, as we can see, we've got uh, our mail.adapen.com is currently pending request. So what we'll do here is we'll now import our Exchange Certificate and we'll just specify the file to import. 
All right, so we're just pointing through the file, so the next thing to do is select Next. Then we just need to specify our service, so we'll just click on the little plus here. Specify Long Cars 1, and click Add, and then click OK. The next thing to do here is just select Finish. So what we can see now, we have a valid certificate, we can see when it expires, so that's a couple of years of time. So the next thing to do really is just apply some services to this. That's all we'll do here. Click on our little pencil icon. Uh, what we want to do here under services, we just want to ensure that we've got IIS on there as well. Select save. And that's now done. So what we've done there is we've requested the certificate, got the certificate from our certification authority, import the certificate and applied the certificate to our various services. And that's the end of this demonstration. Thanks very much.